Hi guys, so my channel is more known for, well, assembling and printing minis. But as you can quite clearly see, uh, yeah, this mini is a bit of a, well, a bit of a large mini. So this is a mini by Fat, well, Fat Ducks, but it's not spelt ducks. Uh, there's a link in the description, guys, if you want to go and download this uh, this little beast of a man. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cute, pretty cool. Uh, I love how he looks. So yeah, so I printed this out on, well, a rather large printer. Uh, as you guys know, I do get scent printers every now and then. Um, and I think in this case, I should have really asked just how big this printer was. Because it's Mahusif. Uh, and yeah, to show just how big it is. these uh, This is a build plate from... I'm not going to give the names of the other companies. But this is a build plate from sort of like a normal size 3D printer. This is a build plate from one of the, the larger of the size uh, 3D printers I have. And as you can see, yeah, quite a big difference. You can definitely get lots of miniatures on this. Uh, but they both dwarf in comparison to this bad boy. Um, yeah, this is the build plate for the uh, the recent print that was sent. And if you haven't guessed already, it's the uh, the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K. And yeah, it's definitely the daddy when it comes to, uh, well, 3D printers. So this is obviously, print, uh, obviously great for printing miniatures, uh, but also for printing larger items. So if you're into cosplay, then yeah, you could use this to uh, well to 3D print masks, uh, body armor, and all the rest of it. Because well, yeah, it's an absolute beast. To say when this turned up, uh, I was a little bit shocked because I, I didn't really know what printer I was getting. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't look it up because I just presumed it would be your sort of typical size. Um, but yeah, it's anything from typical size. So apologies for the quality of the footage coming up, guys. But as this is so big. Um, I've got no real way of filming it, so I'm filming it just holding my camera. Um, like I always say, I'm just your normal guy uh, with a desk in his living room making videos. So I don't have a warehouse, I don't have a fancy studio, I don't even have a garage. So yeah, so that's why it's in here. Um, very little room for me to use this, but as you can see, this is an absolute beast. Um, a gorgeous looking beast, that's for sure. But um, yeah, you do need a lot of room to have one of these guys. Oh, and just to mention, this video is sponsored by Frozen Sonic, uh, but obviously everything I'm saying are my, well, my own opinions, really. So, yeah, as well as obviously having a big, large build plate, uh, this also has a big vat. And uh, when I say big, um, yeah, it's a bottle and a half to fill this up, which is just insane. Um, again, I can't get over uh, sort of being excited and flabbergasted at the size of this thing. It's just mental. So I downloaded the STL files and, and then I opened up ChichuBox, which is the software you use to, well, to put this in and then to slice it and get it ready to, well, to print. Um, and yeah, as you can see, uh, you can get everything on this build plate in one go. Um, yeah, so if you try to print this out on anything else, it would probably be, uh, I don't know, three or four plates worth of, uh, of miniatures. But as you can see, everything's on here and there's still a lot of room. So I reckon you could almost squeeze this in and print two out on one. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you want to print out an army, guys, I reckon you could print out a 1K army in one hit on this. Uh, or as I say, you can print out larger pieces, like pop a full-on face mask. And then you simply pop the, uh, the file on a USB, push that in, and then simply push a couple of buttons. Again, apologies here, I am holding my phone just because, well, there's another way to sort of film some of these bits. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why I love resin 3D printers. They are so simple to use um, and obviously the quality and results are just amazing. So whenever I use 3D printers, I generally just use the sort of settings that come with, well, the recommended sort of settings. Um, and I must admit, this printer did seem to be quite slow. Um, I'm not sure if that's because obviously I need to go into the settings and have a little mess about. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this print, I think all in all, took about 14 hours. Uh, again, obviously because it's an 8K, the resolution is well a lot sharper and sort of higher definition kind of thing than sort of 4K, 2K. Um, but yes, I'm sure if I miss about the settings, it would be a lot, lot quicker. But yeah, everything came out really well. I say this build plate is absolutely huge. Um, this model is huge, and yet there's tons of room on here. And I say I probably could have printed off two in one, which is just amazing. And I say the fact you can print off. Obviously, much larger items. Um, definitely, you say face masks, shoulder pads, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if you're in a cosplay, then <laughs> this is definitely the printer for you. So, Frozen also sent me their wash and cure system. 
but again, these are rather large, which is kind of understandable because obviously if you're printing something large, you need a large system to, well, wash and cure it. Um, and unfortunately, again, say, I'm in a small little area. There's my little desk. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm in a small flat because I'm actually in the sort of the eaves or the roof of the flat. So yeah, so here's the wash station. Um, I've got a smaller one, which is what I actually used just because I didn't have any room to put the large one. So yeah, all the prints, they come out really, really well. Um, obviously my usual sort of go-to, wash them first and then put them in some nice warm water. This helps soften up the, uh, the support and so makes it easier for them to come off. So the other thing I will mention here, say the print came out perfectly. Everything came out nice, nice and neat, uh, clean looking. The supports on this, I'm not sure if this was made smaller and then, well, made smaller, supports put on it, and then the size was sort of bumped up because some of these supports were rather large and rather thick. Um, and yeah, I had quite a few issues trying to get these off. In fact, some of them kind of like pulled off or broke part of the model. Um, so again, this is nothing to do with the printer. This purely is the, the print. And I say some of these supports are mahoosive. So I'm going to have another go at printing this fella out, but at a smaller size, uh, just to see how he comes out there. So yeah, it simply is a case of just getting all the supports off. And I say warm water definitely helps. Um, well, because it sort of softens them up and they and they sort of pop off. Um, and yeah, once all that's done, then it's ready for the uh, for the curing. And something I will say, guys, if you are get, sort of getting into 3D printing, you don't necessarily need a wash and cure system. Uh, it just makes things a whole lot easier. You could just get a bucket, fill it full of IPA, clean off all the um, the parts in there with a toothbrush. Uh, and then if you live somewhere sunny, you can just put things outdoors uh, and that will cure them. But say for ease, the wash and cure system, if you can afford one, yeah, definitely recommend having them. So this is it uh, going around, this little UV light. Um, again, that's kind of in a position that's almost under the stairs. Uh, yeah, room is... Yeah, I don't have a lot of room, guys. I say, I'm just a guy sitting at a desk <laughs> um, making stuff and filming himself making it. Uh, yeah, one day I would love to have a studio or workshop or even a house so I can have a garage. But for the moment, yeah, I'm just sitting at my desk. So, yeah, I say, all the bits come out really well. Uh, apart from when I took some of the supports off, and that did break and crack um, a few parts. So I say, I'm sorry there was something wrong with the supports being so large. And then yeah, because obviously this isn't um, sort of like your normal kind of miniature, you do have to use normal glue, or in this case, some good old super glue. Uh, and yeah, just simply a case of gluing all the parts together. Don't forget to check out the links down below, guys, to uh, to the Frozen sort of websites. Um, obviously they, they don't just do big printers like this one, they do, well, they do a whole variety of printers. Um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. I say the quality and build of this one is just amazing. Um, I do like the old swingy front doors as well. I mean, that's quite a uh, quite a neat sort of idea. So I primed the guy in black, uh, and yeah, say now he's all together and he's primed. Stuck him on one of my bases, and yeah, I think it's a pretty cool sort of desk ornament piece. Um, and as it is going to go on my desk, and obviously, well, clearly it's not going to get played with. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of dry brush into it and give it the, sort of the old copper bronze look. Um, yeah, good old textured dry brush palette. Got to get that in every shot. Um, available to download, guys. If you're one of my patrons, then yeah, you can download my textured dry brush palette from there. Uh, and yeah, so you're going to use the old bronze, do a bit of dry brushing. Nice and simple, nice and quick, but love the results. Obviously, I always hate this bit because, as I always say, guys, I'm now wasting paint and we all know... I don't like wasting anything, uh, but yeah, to do the dry brushing, obviously you load the brush up and then get most of it off, <laughs> because then it's a dry brush. Um, yeah, says so what is, is on the tin, really. But yeah, so nice and simple this. Um, I'm going to print off a smaller dude, uh, probably the sort of same size as normal Space Marines, uh, except obviously this guy is, well, short-legged and rather robust. Uh, sounds a bit like me, really. Um, but yeah, so that character I will sort of paint normally. But so this one is definitely going to be a desk ornament. Um, and yeah, I think the old sort of bronze look is just perfect for a, uh, a lovely squat Space Marine desk ornament. So thank you again to Frozen for sending me this such an awesome 3D printer. Uh, and yeah, guys, don't forget to check out the links below. Go and have a little look. And yeah, have a good old look at the other sort of printers they do. Uh, they do your more sort of conventional size ones as well as obviously, well, this rather lovely large one. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you might want to see me sort of print out next on this thing. Uh, but yeah, so this Space Marine, absolutely love him. And yeah, he's going to look great, well, sitting on my desk somewhere. 
I've got to find room for him. If you are new here and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, as I do produce, well, quite a few videos every week. Okay, guys, you all take care. I'll see you next one. Bye now.